Hi, I'm Mark Kempson. This is the Great British Chef's Signature Series. The Daybo Cornish mackerel is some of the best in the world. I use a supplier called Flying Fish Seafoods and I just wholeheartedly believe that they do a fantastic job. Sourcing great ingredients is the start of any great dish. That's what I love about cooking. It's really dictated by the suppliers as to what we're going to serve in the restaurant and what's going to go onto the plate. Creativity just comes from being inspired by ingredients. I'm cooking a dish of scorched Cornish mackerel that comes with uh, crushed eggs, thinly sliced smoked eel, golden beetroot, leeks and some sea herbs. What do I love about this dish? I think it's a great balance of some sweetness, some acidity, you've got the smokiness, you've got the lovely scorched mackerel skin, the oiliness of the fish and I just think it's a wonderful dish. It's actually been on my menu for 11 years now so yeah, it's one that I really cherish. Okay, so we're going to start with the longest process, which is to uh, bake the beetroots. So we've just got some wonderful baby beetroots here. We're going to take those into a bowl. We're going to dress them with a little rapeseed oil, some salt and some pepper. So these are English beetroots. They're grown down in Kent. I find the golden beetroot slightly sweeter and I think it's a great contrast in colour on the dish as well. So we're going to take the beetroots going to add them to our foil, making sure we get the oil and the seasoning. Then we're just going to make a nice envelope. Then we're going to place that into our preheated oven. We'll just check till they're lovely and tender, then we'll bring them out and let them steam, and then peel them and dress them. Okay, so our beetroots are now cooked. So again, we just test them to make sure they're cooked, soft and tender. So you want very little resistance here. We're just going to rub the skin off. I'm just going to trim the top with the knife and we're just going to make sure all that skin has come off. So our beetroots are now peeled. I'm just going to cut them in half. Off those some salt, a little sprinkling of pepper, a little drizzle of oil. And to finish those, I'm just going to add a splash of Chardonnay vinegar. That's wonderful. So again, they're going to sit at room temperature just to soak up that flavour. With any salad, you don't want anything to be fridge cold. So fridge cold ingredients obviously taste of not much. Okay, so the next is the uh, steamed leek heart. So we've got a lovely English leek here that I've just trimmed back and washed. So we're gonna start from the end of the root, cut it on a slight angle. I think it's really important that we support British farmers where possible. And it makes absolute sense that the ingredients we're using in season at the right time. I have my leeks here. We're just gonna gently season them and then we're going to put those in our steamer. We're going to steam them for about 10 minutes until they're just tender. Okay, so these are our leeks that have come out of the steamer and they're just lovely and soft. So we just test them, make sure they're tender and yeah, they will just sit at room temperature, just resting, relaxing until we come to plate the dish. We're going to work on the crushed eggs. They're going to be boiled for five and a half minutes and then we're going to plunge them in ice water just to arrest the cooking. So I'm just going to take the eggs now and they're going to be boiled for five and a half minutes. Okay, so the eggs cooked for the five and a half minutes. They were then plunged into iced water. So we're now just going to peel those eggs. You can whip up so many meals from an egg, but it has to be a good egg, nice rich yolk. So we've peeled the eggs. Now we're just going to take a fork and gently crush. I mean, look at the colour of those yolks, they're just a stunning egg. Okay, so that's crushed enough. We're just going to add some salt and pepper. Okay, so now it's time to finish our egg. So we're going to start with some lemon zest. It's just going to be grated on the microplane. I'm going to add the chopped shallot, the cornichons, which have been nicely diced, roughly chopped capers, and finish with chopped parsley. So the egg's now been well mixed with all the garnish. Just going to check the seasoning. Touch more pepper. I mean, seasoning is the key to every dish. Uh, it can really make or break a dish. If it's over-seasoned, it's obviously going to be unpleasant for the guests. 
but when it's seasoned to perfection, it just makes all the ingredients sing. As we plate, as we cook, as we prepare, we must taste at every stage and make sure we're getting the very best from that ingredient. Now uh, going to make the dressing for the dish. So this is a sweet mustard dressing, similar to a salad cream. So you've got some acidity in there. You've got a nice mustardy hit that comes from the Dijon mustard. So we're going to start the process. Take the Dijon mustard to that. We're going to add the vinegar and sugar. So that's been boiled to a gastric. So basically a gastric is uh, sugar and vinegar. So we bring that to the boil and then we chill it down. So that's where the sweetness comes in here, but you also get the acidity from the white wine vinegar. So I'm just gonna let the mustard down with that gastric. And then we're going to slowly drizzle in this rapeseed oil and start an emulsification. So yeah, slowly drizzling in the oil until it's all incorporated, starts to thicken. Finish with a splash of cream. So that's great, we've got a lovely acidity, we've got a nice kick from the mustard. The cream's just rounded it off. So that's now ready to go. Okay, so we're now in the final stages of completing the dish. So we're gonna start with the mackerel, which is gonna get gently a small coating of brown sugar. And then we're just going to scorch that skin. We want to go quite slow at the start, just to let that sugar dissolve and start to caramelize. And then we're going to increase the heat now to get a nice scorch and blacken. So it really makes that skin super crispy. I really like the sweetness on top of the fish. Okay, so that's now ready to go. That's our scorched mackerel fillet. On the plate goes our crushed egg. Just gonna make a nice bed of that. And then we're gonna place our leeks. And then we have our golden beetroots. The smoke tail, this is a wonderful product. So we get this from a supplier called the uh, Devon Hill Company. And it's some of the best smoke tail I've ever tasted. And yeah, it's always on the menu. So we're then going to dress with our Sweet mustard dressing. I'm going to uh, finish the dish with some sea, sea veg. So this is a monk's beard, or a gretti, a few oyster leaf. And then we're just gonna top that with our scorched mackerel fillet. So there we are, this is the finished dish. This is the scorched Cornish mackerel, golden beetroots, leek, sweet mustard dressing.